I trust you too If it wasn't for you I could see it forever But I'm not <laughs> mad I want breakfast Sayori oh, <laughs> This is just a guess, but Did you wait until this morning to write this? No J Just a little bit you can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean and shit! I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or... How should I put it? It was shit. Really? Yeah. Especially the last line. I made eggs and toast! Damn, you really fucking packed it in there, huh? It's bad to skip breakfast. I got all cranky and shit. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Ah! This is so much fun. Monica's the best. Oh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Later, bitch. Mm. Monica. <sighs> Monica it is. Hi, Bleeding Plot. Having a good time so far? Uh, yep. Good. I'm so glad to hear it. By the oh, way, since you knew and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we could do better, I'm... Always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll keep that in mind. Of course, of I'll course. be afraid to. Oh. <laughs> That's your line. It's all good. Don't <laughs> worry. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share? Your poem... with me? It's... oh, hold on. Don't tell how the poets are doing. Don't tell me that they're talking though. Don't tell me that they're anti-social. Somehow not anti-social enough. Gord Downey of the Tragically Hip. Oh tell shit. Me about Thanks for the quote, I don't know what that's from. Me either. I don't know, shit. Thanks, man. Um, it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Bleeding Plut. We're all a little bit oh, embarrassed shit, today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we all must learn to get past soon. Yep! I hand Monica my poem. <laughs> mm -hmm. Great job, Bleeding Plut. I was going, oh in my head while reading it. I'll get you a towel. It's really metaphorical. No, it's a physical towel. But, but your poem is metaphorical. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so... deep. Jesus Christ! I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations pretty low. That's honestly, it's pretty up there. That way, uh, you know, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not oh, very shit. I'm fair. Sorry. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Hey, Justin here again, hey, Justin. so remember what I said earlier about my anxiety. Yeah. Well, I'm in full panic attack mode because of those <laughs> young things I had to say tonight. <laughs> anyway, I'm more into Natsuki, she's closer to my age, and I love me some lolly tickets. God damn it, Tillo! Oh my god. Uh, bad Tillo, bad! <laughs> Christ. Thank you. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who uses simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. 
Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own oh, meaning shit, sorry, out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. It's so weird. Sometimes you get really quiet, like the mic is really quiet, and other it just slowly builds into louder oh, and louder. You know what I mean? I wonder if that's a Discord thing, though, because you do that too to me. Yeah, it might be. It's very strange. Because, yeah. like, for, like, it was just, like, over the, the course of a few lines, it was just getting slowly louder and louder and louder. It's very yeah. strange. I'm might, thinking that's a Discord thing. It might be. My dogs, dogs are crazy? definitely going crazy right now. Goodness gracious, Cracker Jack on a barrel. I'm going to go see what's going on. Um, good Hello luck um, entertaining them. Have fun. Okay. I'll leave my headphones uh, here too, so you do you. Oh, so I'm all by myself. Yes. Hey guys. Sorry you hate Monica's voice. Actually, I don't know. You both hate and and like it. But at this point, if I dial it back, I don't know how to dial it back. Monica's become her own monster. Chat is going so fast. Chat. Yes, you can hold my hand. Everyone cry wave right now. Let's hold each other's hands. Cry waves all around. It's going so fast, you guys. You're aroused. But the dance. Look at those clothes. Yes. Everyone holding each other's hands. I love it. It's going so fast, you guys. Please continue. It's a love and hate. Okay, good. Angel, you speak like Monica's voice is your real voice, isn't it? <laughs> Monica's voice is my real voice. Crap, you found me out. This is how I talk all the time, chat. I hope you're being very good, chat. Gone Wild Audio. No, I don't think so. I've been to Gone Wild Audio. Those girls are uh, pretty naughty. <laughs> Thanks, guys. But a dance. This is a horror game? No one told me that. Is it really? Alright, what did I miss? Nothing. Oh. I was just talking to chat, but it's going real fast, but we were having a good chat. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Neat. See a lot of angel stops. Oh. Stop. Stop what? I don't know. Oh shit. Wait. Huh. Let's scroll back up. Uh, what? Can you say it's free real estate in an ASMR? <laughs> Can you? It's free real estate. Nice. Oh shit. Mm. There we go. Okay. Um, it's my buddy's oh, birthday today. Oh, Malik, I saw you. Chat's going so fast that no one will know. I like Gone Wild Audio too. Malik, I saw. It's all right, Malik. Same. Oh my gosh, you guys are naughty. naughty Listen, boys. sometimes after a long day, you just put on some Gone Wild audio. And jerk it? You jerk it and then you pass the fuck out. It's just, that's it's part cool. of the fucking life, man. Some of shit's really oh, weird, shit, though. But, you know, other yeah, shit's that's pretty the thing, good. Yeah, the thing is that, like, a lot of the dude ones, because, like, I'll listen to both. All right. Right. Whoa. Whoa, but whoa. <laughs> some of the dude ones are kind of weird. I've never listened to a dude one, so I wouldn't know. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Why not? I don't want to listen to a dude do it, you know? Oh. Like, yeah. I don't really care, like, which, but I still prefer a female, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, like, the personality of males and shit, that's fine. But I don't want to listen to a guy, like, you know, crank one out. Jerk it? Yeah. Because that's the thing, is that, like, those noises are in there. Yeah, that's weird. For, for listening to a female do it, that's fine, though. What I Why is it? There's no other difference for me. But I mean, like some of the guy ones are like power play ones. Oh, um, I see. Weird. Yeah, a little strange. Yeah. Oh well. It's 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 whatever. you know. I like the ones whatever. where they're like, I'm gonna worship you. I'm like, ooh yeah. Oh. <laughs> well. Anyways. <laughs> Continuing on this magical adventure of Doki Doki Literature Club. <sighs> oh no. Um both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel. 
or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I've never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. Yeah, you will. It could take a while before it could I take a long time. feel comfortable doing this. Oh. <laughs> um, that's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find that kind of style that just suits Missionary you. with the lights off under the covers? It just fits so right. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. Like I like to dominate. Oh. But I'll always help to find what suits you the most. If you don't like subbing. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants oh, you shit, to write. I'm sorry. If Pluto were here, I'd be banned. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing he's at TwitchCon. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> 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 Anyway, uh -huh. do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's read it then. Hole in the wall, it couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind. Like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking Tell out. Me about it. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Was that a, like a reverse vor thing? A Weird. reverse what? A re reverse vor. It's Unbirthing, I guess, is another term of saying, and I'm sorry. No, it looks like it sounds like she's just talking about looking through like a hole in the wall. Oh, I thought she was like coming out of a vagina. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> she says a noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. Like there was noises, and she looks through a hole in the wall, and then like he's looking through. So he's. Not yeah, but maybe they're having her. a home birth. I don't think so. <laughs> so, what do you think? Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's free form. That's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. I already know it's good. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, <laughs> a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, <laughs> I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I 
guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany. 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 Recently. Epiphany. It sounds delicious. I had a good idea. It's been, it's been influencing my poems a bit. And a epiphany in me? Uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of um, coming on strongly. You, no, what? It's coming on strongly, <laughs> you? What? <laughs> I don't know about that, Monica. You don't think I come on too strong? No. You don't think this is too... Fast for you. What is that? Tell me about it. <laughs> Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's um, Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes, when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific. Point. She means the dick! <laughs> She's talking about the dick! <laughs> if you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Be as messy as you like to be. Jesus Christ! Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Thank God you said ink. <sighs> what did you think I was gonna Don't say? Don't worry about it, continue! Did you think I was gonna no, say- No, 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 um, no, no! <laughs> okay. So just move your hand. <laughs> God damn it! And go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Uh huh. <laughs> Not ski <key> help. <laughs> huh? What you put? If you're not gonna take this club seriously, then go home. What the fuck you on about, bitch? Harsh. What? Do you expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? I chose 20 words! Do you think I'm stupid? No, I'll show you the choices! Check the VOD! I'm not a writer! Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I, I put effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. <sighs> Painful to think about? Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. <laughs> I like to imagine. It's very bad. I noticed. I like to imagine Bleeding Plut is just, um... He's, uh, he's IRL streaming all of this. So he just tells them to check the VOD. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yes. Well, they each their own, I guess. I guess I gotta go share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Holy shit, it's already oh stupid. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can see, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Wow, fucking lit. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. It's fucking shit. What? Just be honest! I am! <laughs> Why are you so convinced that I'd like this? <laughs> well, because I wrote it for you, you big dumb idiot! Oh. Well, you Everyone fucked in high up. school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even try to take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes! Exactly! I like when it's easy to read, but it hits your heart. 
Like in this poem. <laughs> I thought you said it's. Did it? You might have actually. Did you say it hits your heart? Maybe. I, don't I know. think you did. <laughs> wow! Why do you have to call me out? I just thought it was. No, funny. I feel really self-conscious. Yeah, I know. Rebecca. <laughs> Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I get it. But the other nice thing about simple writing is it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then it made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring up a feeling in, in the last line, you idiot! So you did. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Uh, Chat would know. Also, he might still be here. Uh, Chat, did Cherno go for this character? I have a feeling he <laughs> did. I'm just curious, though. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna put money that he went for this character. I just want to see oh, what they shit. say. He did? <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> you know it so well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure, no, never changed. I guess more went into that than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Phew! That was a whole long fucking segment about poems and shit. I glanced around the room. There was a little more stressful than I anticipated. Uh, it's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. Hey! I guess that's what I... Uh, I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change as Justin says something in just a second. Come back, Junie. I need your love. Let me smash. Her name is Yuri, my man. Yuri. Yuri. No wonder why she's not here. God damn it. No, she'll never smash us. Natsuki's a legal adult. She's just petite. All right, sure no. <laughs> whatever you, <laughs> whatever you gotta tell yourself, homie. <laughs> Wait, was uh, that Cherno actually? Yeah, that was Cherno. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Uh -huh. Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, <laughs> thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? Mm. It's clearly about feeling about giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I, I I knew that. I just um meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Huh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks. But I really didn't come out nice at all. You're a nobody. I just want to smash less than three. I understand. We all want to smash Yuri, okay? It's yeah. fine. Just be yeah. patient. We'll smash in a bit, all right? Even if we don't end up getting to it, we'll we'll make it a reality somehow, okay? Yeah, it'll happen. Um. Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Bleeding Plot did too. <laughs> so based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, um, excuse me? Oh shit, I'm sorry. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. 
I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Hmm. And Bleeding Plot liked my poem, poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Now Tsuki suddenly stands up. Oh. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Just so you know, the music in the game stopped at this point, so this is really serious. Oh, shit. So you gotta be on your A-game right now, okay? Okay. Okay, here well, we go. Well, I was go. giving my A-game the whole time. Okay, All right, well, you gotta be in an A-plus game now. Oh, shit. You gotta go really hard in a paint. All right, I'll try. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, the music just picked back up. Don't worry about it, now. Oh, okay, cool. That's not what I... Oh. Uh. Y you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Why don't you pronounce it like hi? It's weird hearing you say me being a Canadian. What? what? Wait, what is oh, it? Oh, why don't you pronounce A like A? Oh. I see, gotcha. I'm sorry. Yay, fuck you, Natsuki damn lolly go Yuri. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you really like Yuri, dog. I respect it. Yeah, we don't like Natsuki. I'm sorry, man. We're not Natsuki fans over here. We're, we're on the Yuri team. Team Yuri, that's team what Yuri. it's Yuri. Yep. Maybe you're just jealous that Bleeding Plot appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh. And how do you know how he... No, he didn't appreciate my advice more. Are you that full of yourself? Huh. I... No. If... If I was full of myself, I would I deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, um... Is everyone good? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose <laughs> boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Bleeding Plut started showing up. Tell Natsuki? Um, Natsuki. That's a little... I guess we do not Suki Natsuki. <laughs> Wimpy face. Christ. Hang on a second. Here it is. There it is. Thank you. This doesn't involve you. But it's both of them, so you gotta do like both at the same time. You have to do the other one. Do do not. Okay. This does do it. One, uh, two, three. This, this doesn't, doesn't involve, involve you. you. I, I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they noticed I was standing there. Bleeding plot. She she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not Sinners. true. <laughs> oh shit! I'm sorry. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have had to happen in the first place. What's the point? Natsuki, best girl flat is just as bitches. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my gosh. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should just jump out at the reader and not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her bleeding plot. Wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary unnecessarily limiting yourself; it's also a waste. You understand that, right, bleeding plot? Um. Well? Uh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with will probably think more highly of me. Uh, uh yeah, Yuri, we're trying to smash. Hang on. Yuri is best. Shite is my senpai. Christ. Thank you, Natsuki. <laughs> You're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait! <laughs> That's not an excuse for you to be a bitch. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. Th That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Mm. I understand. 
Yuri? Uh. You're a serious